Let's summarize Newton's first and second law. The two laws are explain what's going to happen. The first law says if the forces are balanced, then you get uniform motion or it stays at rest. So you keep on doing what you're doing. If there's an unbalanced force, then the object will accelerate. So basically, we can look at the two possible situations. This one is telling me that this person is pulling on a cart and it's got uniform motion. As soon as I say here uniform motion or constant velocity, I know that means the forces are balanced, it's going to be easy. So what, here's my free body diagram. Gravity, normal force, applied force and friction. It's not accelerating, so it's, the forces must be balanced, which means the force I'm pulling and the force of friction must be the same. If I tell you the friction on this is 50 newtons, how much is the applied force? Then you just have to say, well, the applied force is equal to the friction because they've got to be the same, so then I must be pulling with 50 newtons. And the object will keep moving with uniform motion. It's not accelerating up or down, so these two are also equal because there's nothing else up or down. Now the person is pulling the cart and the cart is accelerating. Well, when it's accelerating, Newton's second law applies, and Newton's second law says there must be an unbalanced force on it. It's accelerating to the right, so I must have more force to the right than left. So this one should be bigger than that. This is my applied force, this is my friction, my applied is bigger. Since it's accelerating, I label it as accelerating to the right. This one's bigger than that, that agrees with this. It's not accelerating up or down, so these two must be equal. And now, I need an equation, so I can calculate the acceleration. And you say F net equals MA, so I add up all the forces in the direction of acceleration. FA is positive, minus force of friction equals MA. There's the equation that's going to give me what I want. You could say there's an equation here. FA minus force of friction equals, well, it's not accelerating, so then A is zero. This is the equation. So FA is equal to the force of friction. And that's the basic summary of Newton's first and second law.